This is the one who was not deserted by God on the day of struggle, and now wears a crown of victory for the faithful to the Lord's commands. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today to just celebrate the memory of Saint Fidelis of Sigma region. He was martyrs in 1622 in Switzerland. Originally he was born and raised in Germany and he has have a great faith, the family has a great faith in, 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 in Christ and um, um, he became a lawyer and they, he has a nickname the lawyer of the poor does mean he helped the poor always take the case of no money to uh, to fight for them and then later on he uh, left the career and joined the um, capuchin um, and then uh, went to preach the good news he has a great faith and his great faith strong faith lead him to charity to serve the people and the the enemies of the church uh, hate him and uh, um, stop him one day, stop him to death. So let us give thanks and pray for the gift of Saint Fidelis. And uh, Mass intention today, we pray for the souls of our and Grace Sinti, and we pray for the intention of th Thanksgiving of Vic and Daily Musi. Also, we pray for the gift of healing for a long trend. Let us ask the Lord for forgiveness and mercy as we enter this sacred mystery. I confess, Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who will please you award the palm of martyrdom of Saint a uh, two Saint Fidelis as burning with love for you and propagated the faith. Grant, we pray, through his intercession, that grounded in charity, we might merit to know with him the power of the resurrection of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A Pharisee in the Sanhedrin named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all the people, stood up, ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time, and said to the Sanhedrin, Fellow children of Israel, be careful what you are about to do to these men. Some time ago, the Judas appeared, claiming to, someone, to be someone important, and about 400 men joined him, but he was killed, and all those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him came Judas, 
the Galilean, at the time of the census. He also drew people after him. But he too perished, and all who were loyal to him were scattered. And so I tell you, nothing to do with these men and let them go. For if this endeavor, if this activity is a human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. After recalling the apostles, they have then flogged, ordered, ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus, and then dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of that name. And all day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming the Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. One thing I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing One I seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? One thing, One thing I, I seek, seek to dwell, to dwell in, the in the house of, of the, Lord. the Lord. One thing I seek of the Lord. This I seek. To dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. That I may gaze in the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. One thing I, I seek to dwell in the, the house of the Lord. Lord. I believe the righteous see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be a stone headed and wait for the Lord. One, One thing, thing I, I seek, seek to dwell in the house of the Lord. performing on the sick. Jesus went up on the mountain, and there he sat down with his disciples. The Jewish feast of Passover was near. When Jesus raised his eyes and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, he said to Philip, Where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him, because he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Two hundred days' wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, there is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. 
But what good are these for so many? Jesus said, Have the people reclined. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place. So the men reclined, about five thousand in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were declining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. When they had had their fill, he said to his disciples, Gather the fragments left over, so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them and filled twelve wicker baskets with fragments from the five barley loaves that had been more than they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, This is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. Since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When our worries crowd in on us, we often feel alone. They are our worries and no one else is going to worry about them if we don't. But the Lord will. The Lord will. He was the first one to see the last crowd and ask, where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He has the heart of a good shepherd, always thinking of his sheep and what they need. He wants his sheep to confide in him, to make known their need, their worries. When we act alone, we realize our resources are so small. Our bodies get tired, our heads fail to understand, and our glance does not perceive. Our hearts do not feel as they should, and our mouths spout what we do not want to say. What good are these weak instruments for so many needs? Jesus' response to the problem is counterintuitive. Slow down, contemplate, and rest. Half the, half the people reply. He said, Stop trying to fix the problem alone and turn your eye toward Jesus. Look about you. See the deep blue lake and the verdant hillsides where Jesus sits in command. The evangelist bothered to tell us now there was a great deal of grass in that place. Is this detail essential? No, but it is a part of the harvest we reap when we bring our hunger to Jesus. We can ask question after question, why does Jesus put Philip to the test? Why does he put us to the test? Christ simply wants us to recline along with 5,000 others who sat 
who also need Him. We are each just one sheep in a flock, and we cannot buy enough food for ourselves to eat, not without Jesus. And finally, Jesus, when Jesus gives thanks, we are fed. This is the logic of the sacrifice of the Holy Mass. Then the Gospel say, Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. Before ten thousand eyes, deep set in five thousand hungry faces, Jesus gave thanks to his Father in heaven. We also come to him in the Mass seeking Eucharistic food and he distributes it to all those who are reclining, all those who heed the shepherd's voice like Isaiah says, Oh, come to the water, all you who are thirsty. Though you have no money, come, buy and eat. Why spend money on what cannot nourish and your wages on what fails to satisfy? That's Isaiah chapter 55 verse 1. Lord Jesus, we follow you over the sea and up the hills because we know you are the living bread. We come empty-handed, ready to buy at no price the priceless bread of angels. And we beg you to give us our fill. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise which we offer to your majesty in commemoration of the blessed martyr Fidelis, that it might lead us to obtain pardon and confirm us in perpetual thanksgiving through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We are lifted up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ of Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light right to eternal life and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful for his death is our ransom from death and in his rising the life of all has risen therefore overcome with paschal joy every land every people exhaust in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice might be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts. We are brought to you for consecration, that they might become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your dead, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, 
his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit might become one body, one spirit in Christ. May the Holy Spirit make of us an eternal offering to you so that we might obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Saint Francis of Assisi, Saint Fidelis, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. Mighty sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pure and church honor with your servant Francis our Pope, Salvatore Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, the people of the consecrated life, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servants, our and grace, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in the death like his might also be one with him in his resurrection when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pardon of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, And to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever.